Howdy guys, Blue Shepherd. I want to address a topic today, and our scriptural basis will be 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 8. Specifically speaking to law enforcement officers and other men and women who have chosen a profession of arms. I'm seeing a trend more and more lately of people I know, people I work with and around, who are cops and they're coming up saying, you know, I don't carry a gun off duty anymore. You know, I just, I get tired of it. You know, it's bulky, the way, the concern, the constant mental awareness. And, uh, or they'll say, I just want to feel like a normal person. When I'm off duty, I want to be off duty. And they'll, they'll throw out these excuses like that for why they are not carrying a weapon off duty. I had someone ask me a while back, I've had some people ask me this before lots of times. Why did I have a gun at church? And so, you know, I brought up all the normal responses. You know, anything can happen anywhere. We have fire extinguishers on the walls. We wore seat belts on the way here. You know, the, the, the typical basic arguments. But then the question was posed, but why do you think you're really needed here? And that got me to thinking, especially, like I said, to preface with all of the law enforcement officers that I know and am friends with who are falling out. It's becoming the fashionable thing to brag about not carrying a gun off duty or I went on vacation and I didn't even take a gun with me or this, that, or the other. And so I started to uh, think about that. Why, why do I carry a gun off duty? Why is that important? Why does that matter so much? Now for me personally, I carried a gun all the time routinely before I was a law enforcement officer. That's, that's me as a person. Um, we, we could go into all the topics about uh, sheepdog mindset and all this different stuff, but um, I've I've been armed. I've always been armed. Uh, even when I was a teenager, you know, I used to would carry a Bowie knife or, a, uh, you know, I'd go in the woods and I'd take a CO2 BB pistol or something like that for snakes or whatever. It's part of the uh, culture and family I was raised in. Uh, but, I started thinking and I started trying to think of what what went to come up with a response to that question and a response to those officers who say you know I'm, I'm tired of carrying off duty I'm tired of, of always having to have a gun and always having to be on the lookout and when I'm off duty I want to be off duty and my response to you if that is you if you are a law enforcement officer or security or work in some sort of profession of arms and you have made a lifestyle not a career choice, a lifestyle of making very bad people very angry. And you feel that way. Get out. Find a different job. You are not cut out for this. Especially if you have a family. Because you have made that choice. You've made that decision. You have committed to that lifestyle. I have committed to a lifestyle of standing for truth and justice in the face of adversity. I've committed to a lifestyle of making very bad people very angry. And there is always the potential for consequence. And if I fail to be prepared to protect my family around me, because I'm the one who has brought that to them, I'm the one who has jeopardized their safety because of my lifestyle choice. It's not wrong, it's very wholesome and it's very good but it is the world we live in. And if you cannot accept that, find a different job. But if you are committed to truth, you are committed to justice, and you are committed to your calling as a peacemaker, be armed. Just in case any of you were wondering, this is what I carry off duty, right? It doesn't have to be some super tactical, newest Glock 19X or whatever with three 20 round mags. I have this and have a few rounds to reload it. It can be just that simple. But you need to do something to protect the people that God has placed around you and in your care, both on and off duty. I'm the Blue Shepherd.